Welcome back to the Commonwealth, everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at the baseball bat. This is a staple in pretty much every Fallout game, and it's no exception to that in Fallout 4. In Fallout 4, I think it actually has the most variations and the most diversity that it's ever had in any of the Fallout games. So the baseball bat technically comes in kind of two flavors, since you have the regular baseball bat and you have the swatter. The swatter is just an upscaled version of the baseball bat. You can buy this in Diamond City. Baseball bats you can collect from just about anywhere. I'm not sure if you can actually get unique swatters as legendary drops. I know I've gotten unique legendary baseball bats. I'm not sure if one just goes into the other or if they are technically considered two separate weapons. Either way, the baseball bat can be found pretty early on. Lots of enemies might carry this. Raiders tend to carry baseball bats around. You can, of course, get these from Diamond City. And as for the stats of the baseball bat, the regular baseball bat does 16 damage on hit, which is pretty decent for a melee weapon. That's not too bad. This has 9 damage per second. The baseball bat does swing slow. It does have a slow attack speed, so you're going to have to get used to that. I'm not really used to using the slow weapons for melee. I'm not really used to using melee weapons in general in Fallout 4, but the slow ones in particular, I'm just not used to the timing. This costs 35 action points to be using in vats, and this weighs 3 weight, so it's actually pretty lightweight. For the pros of the baseball bat, you got pretty good damage for this, and it is an early game weapon. You can find these all over the place, so they're not particularly difficult to get. Major con, though, is that this weapon is slow. It doesn't swing that quick, and I don't really like that. As for perks that you want to be taking with this, the usual ones, so big leaks to get extra melee damage, Pain Train's really good if you want to be taking this with Power Armor because you can just knock an enemy down and beat him to death. Blitz is also really good if you want to be using this in Vats. Melee weapons do like Vats quite a lot, so those perks are pretty useful for this. For an overall rating for the Baseball Bat, I find it to be a pretty okay weapon for the early game. I tend to want to mod it or swap it out for a different weapon later on. But I think it's like a solid C tier. I think it's an okay weapon. Let's move on to the modded version of the baseball bat because we actually have quite a few mods we can put on this. So in the regular game, bladed is probably the best for this because it will just get you the most damage. You can cause bleed, and so that one's nice. It's just a straight upgrade to it. But if you have the DLCs, particularly Nuka World DLC, it unlocks a ton of other mods that you can put on this. And then for that one, I would recommend going with either the bladed rocket or going with the shocking puncturing bat. Both of those are really good because they do a very high amount of damage. You're looking at like super sledge levels of damage, so that's really nice. It hits incredibly hard. This doesn't really come at any downside to the bat other than making it heavier, which isn't that big of a deal, especially if you're a melee only character. And then you can also make this into an aluminum bat if you would like, so that it gets even more damage on top of that. It does make it weigh slightly more, but you might as well go for that. This one actually makes the bat a very useful weapon for melee. And if you just had the bladed version of it, I'd probably say this one's like B tier. It's still an okay melee weapon. With all the mods on it, I would say it's probably A tier. This one's a very solid melee weapon and one that you're looking forward to. And if you do find any legendary effects on baseball bats, that is awesome because you can just mod them out to make them even stronger. Now let's talk about all the other variants of the baseball bat because we do have a lot of them to go over in this video. So first up, let's go over the swatter. Like I said, you can buy this one in Diamond City. One guy sells it there. This one does have slightly better stats than a regular baseball bat. So this one does 18 damage per hit, so slightly more damage. Has 10 DPS, so again, slightly more. Swings at the slow speed, costs 35 action points, weighs 3. It's just a slightly upgraded bat, so I'd probably put this one into C tier too. There's nothing really to say about this, it's just going to have better stats overall. Let's go for the unique versions of the regular bat, and then we'll go for the swatter after that. So for the regular bat, we actually have three of them. Very first one we're going to talk about is the Fence Buster. This one can be found in the Far Harbor DLC. You actually get it during the murder quest. And this one has all the same stats as a regular baseball bat. So same damage, same DPS, same speed can have all the same mods and everything on it. However, the legendary effect on this one is the armor piercing effect, and that's really good. That's just bonus damage towards anything that has armor. So this one's gonna be a better baseball bat, and arguably one of the best melee weapons in the game. You can still put bleed on it, you can still put shock on it, you can still put whatever you'd like on here. So the Fence Buster, I'd probably put up an S tier for melee weapons. I think it's one of the stronger melee weapons, especially with how easy it is to get, since you can run to Far Harbor right away, run to that quest, pick it up right there, and then you could just leave the DLC and go back to the Wasteland, upgrade your character like normal, and you'll have a very, very strong weapon. The second baseball bat is the 2076 World Series baseball bat. You can find this one during a quest. This one is the treasure, so once you actually unlock everything in that town full of ghouls, you can get this, and this one has its own very unique special effect. So this one has better stats than a regular baseball bat. It still does the 16 damage, but it does 17 damage per second. This one does swing faster, which is really nice. Still says it has a slow attack speed, costs the same action points, weighs the same, so there's nothing there. 
but its unique effect is that it has a 6% chance of sending an enemy flying. This will also play like a crowd cheering sound effect too when it happens. This one is pretty awesome. This one is one of my absolute favorite melee weapons in the entire game just because of how goofy it is. If you just incorporate something that includes ragdolls, I'm gonna love it. So this one is also gonna go up into S tier. You can of course mod it however you'd like, same with the regular bat. So it's gonna be really strong. It's just every once in a while you're gonna potentially send somebody flying across the map and that's just hilarious. So. I love this one, it's probably my favorite of the bats. Next one is in the Nuka World DLC, which is called Sito's Shiny Slugger. And this one you get from Sito after you've cleared out the area full of the Gator Claws. Uh, and then you talk to him, he'll give you this. And this is a pretty cool weapon too, because it already comes decked out with quite a lot of stuff. So if you want to run to Nuka World early on, you can do this and get a really powerful melee weapon. This one has higher damage, since it has 31 base damage, 23 DPS. This one does still have a slow swing speed, costs 35 action points to use, weighs seven and a half weight, so it is substantially heavier than the regular bats. And this one has the unique effect of refilling action points on crit. That is very strong for a melee build, because a lot of the time you're just going to be trying to build up your crit with the vats, and if you have blitz it's really easy to get into vats range to just keep hitting enemies with melee. Once you build that up, you can then just repeat the cycle again, and you can just keep repeating this. Since this one does already come decked out with the rocket mod on there, it's also very strong to where you don't need those perks. So if you want to rush this one early on, it's probably one of the best early game melee weapons and stays very strong all throughout the game, so this one's going to also go up into S tier got quite a few very strong bats to choose from here. And then our very last bat that we need to talk about is called the Rockaville Slugger. This one is the unique Swatter. This one you also get during a quest. So this one deals more damage than the regular Slugger. This one deals 22 damage on hit, 13 damage per second, still has a slow swing speed, has very low action point cost to be using in vats at only 21, and it weighs 3.5 weight, so it is slightly heavier than the regular Swatter, but not by that much. The main reason why this one has better VATS use is that its unique effect is that all of its attacks in VATS cost 40% less than normal. So that's a big bonus for a melee weapon too. And if you want to rush this quest line, you can get this one really easily. And you'll have a very strong melee weapon too. I don't think this one's quite as strong as like Sito's. I think that one's a little bit better. It's not as fun as like the World Series bat. And it might not be as strong as the Fence Buster. Although the Fence Buster is only good against armored enemies. If you're fighting non-armored enemies, then that one's not really going to be better than a regular bat. But I do think that this one is slightly weaker. So I'm going to put this one into A tier, but at the very high end of A tier. It's still a really good weapon, and if you want to rush it, by all means go for it. One of the main things that makes the baseball bat actually pretty good, as opposed to the base game, because if all of these were in the base game and you can only put bladed on them, I probably wouldn't say any of them are above A tier. Some of them are probably just barely scraping into A tier, besides maybe the 2076 bat, but that's just because I love its special effect. With the DLC and with the ability to turn these into the rocket bats, they become immensely stronger than they otherwise would be. So that is a really big selling point to all the baseball bats. It's just that they have more customization than a lot of the other weapons. Of course, you can still find baseball bats with legendary effects on them. So if you end up getting something like a mighty baseball bat, that one's going to be really strong. Or if you get the one that increases more damage every time you hit stuff, that's usually only on melee and unarmed weapons. There is two guns that kind of break that. Yeah, that one is also pretty strong for the baseball bat. There's a lot of good things going for the baseball bat, mostly because of all of the mods that it gets access to. So overall, baseball bat, pretty solid weapon. It's an okay starting weapon, but it does get way better with mods and way better with a lot of the other upgrades that you can throw in here, as well as all the legendary versions, which we have six of, or at least six different versions of the bat. So tell me your thoughts on the baseball bat. How do you enjoy it in Fallout 4? Thank you guys so very much for watching this. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye, everyone.